I'm Stephen Beatty. I'm the Deputy Director of the Centre for Sustainable Aquatic Ecosystems at the Harry Butler Institute at Murdoch University. The southwestern West Australia is undergoing severe climatic drying and what that means for aquatic ecosystems is that we're losing a lot of our natural dry season refuge pools and wetlands. The South Capal Wetland Chain, managed by Aluka Resources, is a rehabilitated mine site. What we hope to do with this project is provide a really solid ecological baseline on what lives in these wetlands. There's about 17 wetlands in the chain and there's been various studies over the past 30 odd years on the water quality in the ecosystem, but there's never really been a comprehensive baseline survey done. And that's really, really important to guide the future management of these wetlands. In a temperate region like southwestern Australia, it's really important to look at aquatic ecosystems, not only in winter and spring, but also in the dry season. That's really important because populations can change quite drastically between those two seasons. We found some quite exciting results, actually. Almost a quarter of the wetlands were maintaining endemic freshwater fish. So these are fish found nowhere else on the planet apart from southwest or western Australia. And they were self-maintaining populations, so they had really, really nice age structures. We also found the Carter's freshwater mussel, which is actually a threatened species, and we found that living in Taylor's Lake. That's a species that's undergoing decline in urban wetlands, and it appears that the South Cape of wetlands is a really, really good stronghold for the species. The wetlands also house numerous species of aquatic plants and a range of different macroinvertebrates, which are really, really critical to aquatic ecosystems. So that was a really pleasing result. One of the most exciting findings of the study was the southwestern snake neck turtle. And that was found in more than 75% of the wetlands that we looked at. We also found it's a really healthy population because we also caught a lot of juveniles. The southwestern snake neck turtle we're finding in urban wetlands to be in decline. It's under a range of threats, predation of um, female nests, road strikes on the females, and we think there's just not enough juveniles getting back into the water. The South Cape of Wetlands, on the other hand, had a really nice population structure of the species. So it's doing quite well in, in these wetlands. Look, the study opens up lots of different avenues for community involvement. The Southwestern Snake Neck Turtle, for instance, can be a flagship for community engagement and monitoring at the site. So citizen scientists getting out there and helping to protect those female turtle nests um, would be a really great future. We also really think that this monitoring program has demonstrated it's really important to get a good solid baseline on the condition of a wetland. And that's really gonna help guide the future management decisions on what happens at the site. Oh, look, I think the study highlights that rehabilitated wetlands and artificial wetlands can house a really, really good suite of biodiversity. There's always any improvements to be made and ongoing rehabilitation, but the study really demonstrates that these created water bodies can still hold a really high value from an ecosystem perspective. Here at the Centre for Sustainable Aquatic Ecosystems at Harry Butler Institute, we really, really like doing this sort of applied research with meaningful, tangible outcomes for the ecosystems, but also for how the community and citizen scientists can get involved in protecting these water bodies. I'd really like to see the wetlands at South Capel uh, become a, a hub of wetland research in the southwest of Western Australia. Working with local community members on citizen science projects uh, would be a fantastic result.